Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Brad. I just wanted to give a quick presentation on why I am so passionate about polycystic kidney disease. I'm going to tell you the, we the reasons why and, and give you some introductions. What is it and going forward. So basically, as you can see from the slide, and I won't read the slides, so it's up to you to read the slides, but it, I will make points. Like, number one, polycystic kidney disease, it affects more people than muscular dystrophy, cystic fibrosis, Down syndrome, and sickle cell anemia combined. One in 500 people have had or will have PKD in their lifetime. I mean, it is amazing. It is definitely, it's hereditary. It passes down through the children. But who has ever heard of polycystic kidney disease? I know before I met Scott, I, I didn't. And I'll tell you more about Scott a little bit later. Here is a healthy kidney and a kidney with PKD. As you can see, there's cysts that grow and it basically fills up with fluid and squeezes the kidney to a point where it cannot function. Now remember that our kidneys are a, a, a filter for all the toxins and all the waste and everything that go on in our body. We really only need 5%, but obviously it's better to have 100% function of your kidneys and to make sure that we don't need to go down to that 5%. A lot of times, depending on what you eat, you do lose functionality in your kidneys. You might be at 90, 95, but that's not a really big deal. But if you see the cysts here growing, obviously we lose a lot of function and basically squeezes the functionality right out of it. So 17% of the cases initially present with observable disease in one kidney. Basically, we start with high blood pressure, we move on, they get a kidney, uh, kidney test, they, they see what's going on in the blood, and, and before you know it, we've, they found that there's cysts and they'll ultrasound, and then they can see it. The cysts are numerous, they're fluid-filled, and they just cause a, an enlargement of the kidney. Somebody with, kid, with, with kidney disease, you can see actually, might even actually look fat because that kidney is kind of protruding out, but um, obviously they're not. It's just, the, you know, the disease. There are two types of disease. There's autosomal dominant, which is the most popular version of it. Um, it, it they used to be called adult, but uh, at this point now we found that the children actually can develop it as well, which is a, it's a really horrible, horrible disease. Um, it, and it passes right through to the children with a 50-50% 50-50 chance. Then there, of course there's autosomal recessive. It's it's far less common than the than the dominant, but the the signs and symptoms often appear shortly after birth. There's a lot of babies and infants with with polycystic kidney disease and they don't survive, unfortunately. Um it's it's rare, uh, but once you've got it, once you know that a child can get it, there's a 25% chance of every child afterwards getting the disease. So the signs and symptoms, um, basically, like I said, you can, you can look here, but there's high blood pressure. And then, of course, the most uh, observable and most obvious thing is loss of kidney function. They lose their ability to eliminate wastes, and, and it causes you know, uh, um, issues and symptoms that, that are, are horrible. Um, where you, you talk about um, a, a consistent nausea, not be able to not be able to eat, um, you know, vomiting. Uh, it, it just it doesn't it, it doesn't help. Now, because you're closing off one kidney, we've got other complications that happen, like pregnancy. Obviously, if you've got kidney disease and you're you know you're feeding for two, obviously there's going to be issues. The cysts, obviously that that can actually get spread to the liver. So not only later in the later later in the disease's uh, um, formality does it actually form on the kidneys, but it actually goes into the liver as well, and they might end up needing not only a kidney transplant but a liver transplant as well. Um, we see heart valve in, in, or abnormalities, colon problems, chronic pain. It, it just the list goes on and on. Um, I was lucky to fall in with the, P the PKD Foundation, which was founded in 1982. Um, and basically, the mission statements here, you can read it. And this is why I do it, why I'm so passionate about it. Um, it PKD is, it, it, it's, it affects more people than you can ima possibly imagine, and there's no awareness. So trying to get the funds, trying to raise the money, trying to get out there, trying to get the, the name out and show people that um, this is a... a, a, a a, a disease that we need to uh, jump on the bandwagon. So the PKD Foundation wants to ensure that someday no one suffers the full effect of PKD aggressively, seeking convert, and then of course you can see everything basic here, um, going through therapies and trying to uh, raise funds, uh, raise funds for research, for awareness, for for programs. 
um, and it's really doing a lot of a lot of great stuff. Uh, they've it actually teamed up with the uh, National Health Institute, and um, they're working on programs for people that have the kidney disease and developing funds for people that don't have the right insurance to get down transplant list and and, and the whole bit. Um, this is Scott uh, Scott Bregan. I, I met Scott Bregan while doing a boot camp class at at our gym and. Um, he actually, he's the one that pretty much got me into uh, running, and then then I got into triathlons, and he, so he's kind of the reason, and, and we became really good friends. Um, he told me about polycystic kidney disease, and then he was running the marathon in 2009, and I wasn't ready to run another marathon, um, so I, I, I was I was kind of unsure, but he introduced me to his wife. Uh, this is Erica. Uh, Erica's amazing. It, 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 she she walks in, she lights up a room. It, it, she is a, a incredible mother, uh, a, an amazing person, um, a, a, just a wonderful wife, and just a fierce, a, a fierce friend. Um, she'll do anything for anybody. She loves Scott to death. She loves her children uh, and all of her friends, and she's just she's just an amazing, amazing person. So the minute that I met Erica, I. I knew that I had to help Scott and do something about this. So I started raising funds in 2009 and, and raising awareness. These are Scott's children. This is uh, Madison and Spencer. Uh, Madison is uh, 11 and uh, Spencer's seven. Uh, Spencer's a hell of a soccer player and, and, and Madison is a gym, gymnast and uh, she has the hopes and dreams one day to be uh, an elite gymnast uh, up there with Mary Lou Retton and Nadi Comaneci, and she has the ability to do it. But you know, she comes on with this disease. I, I don't see that happening in her future, unfortunately. I, I and you know, there's things that she's not going to be able to do. So I, I really hope that you know, I don't. I hope to be able to create some sort of research or some sort of awareness to where that doesn't happen to her. So in 2009, um, and these are a couple of buddies of mine, there was, there was 10 of us, and, and we decided that we were going to run the marathon for PKD, um, and uh, we raised about $26,300. We are trying to get to $50,000. Now, we're at our last push. Sunday's the race. Um, we are sitting at about, oh, about just around $42,000, and I think we can hit this, but I need your help. Um, I don't care what you decide. To donate if you can five dollars ten dollars but if I can get plenty of people to do that then we can hit our goal so um, do me a favor and if you can go on to um, this link right down here it's not a link but I mean it's a URL www.t2pkd.org um, and uh, go ahead and donate uh, you, you have a, you have ability to donate just to the team or you can go to the uh, bios uh, page and you can click for, for somebody We're, it, I really don't care at this point. Um, if you want to donate to me, that's fine. Um, and you can see another picture of Scott and Erica. You know, she's just beautiful. Um, she's right now on the kidney transplant list. Uh, there's 90,000 people, and it's gotta it's gotta match one to one. It, there's no choice. Um, so her shot is one in a thousand. Um, so uh, hopefully, you know, we're gonna find a, we're gonna find a, a transplant for her now that she's only got 25% functionality. So please, you know, help us out. Um, we want to really create awareness and, and see if we can get some research and find a cure for this disease. Because the only way to get the only way to get through it is a kidney transplant. And once you have a kidney transplant, we don't know how long that kidney's going to last. So th thank you, thank you very much for listening. Um, I appreciate it. And, and if you can, you know, get involved, um, I'd appreciate that much more. Thank you so much. Have a great day.